farm about 4,000 acres of cropland and spring wheat, durum, barley, mustard, canola, flax, lentils. It was actually in this field where you first brought it out and we were having trouble plugging it in here. He put it on and that opener was perfectly clean by the time we made the next round again and we've kept it ever since. It was the only opener I've ever seen with the fertilizer coming down the front of the shank, so it wasn't, uh, I don't know, coming back up, I guess. I don't know. It had a big enough opening on it that it just really seemed to work well, and last year was fairly wet in the spring, and we never had any trouble with plugging on it. On a really dry year, like this year wasn't bad because it was uh, wetter, but in a really dry year, this is pretty sandy land, and it will wear. I mean, it takes a long time for the carbide to wear out, but when they do wear, it's all replaceable components on it, and you just swap them out for new ones. I would think these ones that we got here now are uh, 16,000 acres on them probably, and it's, I wouldn't be replacing a whole pile of components on it yet. They come up really nice. All the crop come up just beautiful this year, but we weren't sure of moisture either. So maybe. You got a bigger separation of seed because it's still going one inch below the seed as opposed to right beside. So if you get in the lighter land like this and you want to up your fertilizer rates, you're not afraid to if it happens to get drier because you still got good seed separation from the fertilizer to to keep it away so you're not running the risk of seed burn. Well, I guess they'd tell you more after the combine gets through it, but I think it's a pretty nice mustard crop as far as mustard go. It seems to be potted really well. Well, based on my experience, I would definitely recommend these to other producers looking for a good opener.